Ah, uh, hey there. I'm just sitting here watching my grass seed grow. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, in today's video, we're going to talk about how to water your lawn after you put down your grass seed. So let's get started. Before we get going today, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. I just did a full overseed right here behind me on my yard, and I want everyone to join in on the fun so you can see the before and after results of my overseed. And if you have any questions on today's video, please comment below and I'll get back to you. So let's get back to the video now. So I threw down over Labor Day weekend with a Mountain View seed blend. I got a Tuckahoe Turf Farm right here in New Jersey, and I put down a Baron Brug RPR in my backyard. Um, both those blends are very good, high quality grass seed. That's what I was looking for this year. But the most important thing, once you put it down, is to water. You have to water the grass seed or it's not going to germinate. For me personally, I like to water at least four times a day when I put down my grass seed. Some people, they'll wait till mid-morning and they'll kind of let that morning dew get them through the morning. But for me, I actually like watering early in the morning uh, between five and, uh, uh, five and six. Um, my theory is that dew that is sitting on the grass, you're, when you're watering uh, that, when you're watering with your sprinklers, that dew is just going to seep down from your sprinklers and it's going to get down into your soil more. So you're almost even watering more than you should. But I just feel like it's going to be able to carry you through a little bit more of the day, especially when you get through hotter spells throughout the day. Like I said, here in New Jersey, um, we're seeing some highs of between like the mid 80s right now in early September um, to the low 80s during the daytime. And now right now, this is the morning time. It's, it's on a little bit on the cooler side. I would say in the 60s, probably 70 range. Um, but I just feel like, you know, giving that a good dose of a good um, run in the morning time gets that morning dew to seep down into your soil canopy and it just helps with, you know, getting some soil down deeper into those roots. So I actually water four times a day. I water at 5, 10, 1, and 4. The 10 and 1 o'clock, I usually only do about 10 minutes per zone. And at five and four o'clock in the afternoon, I usually do 15 minutes per zone. Now I have the Ratio app, the Ratio uh, controller device. It's a really cool Wi-Fi Bluetooth device. Um, I recommend anyone that has those dial versions to check out a Wi-Fi Bluetooth device because the apps that are on the phones for these devices, they're so advanced, they're weather uh, sensitive. Um, the, they could put weather delays on your phone. Um, and shut off your system if they're expecting a rainfall. Um, there's just so much to it. It's very a lot easier to schedule, in my opinion, on your phone, your different uh, times than as opposed to with the dial version. Um, and you don't have to go out to your garage or your basement, wherever you have you know your um, controller at, and turn it on manually with the dial versions. You just have it right on your phone. Um, it's just a really simple app, and it, I highly recommend you check those out. Um, if you have those older versions, it's a very easy fix just to switch out the wires from your old dial devices uh, to the new Bluetooth Wi-Fi devices. Um, like I said, I have the Ratio 3. Um, it's a really cool uh, device. It sits right in my garage. Um, I highly recommend you check out the Ratio or any of those out there. I know Rainbow makes one, um, I believe, and I think Orbit even makes one as well. Um, so check, that, check those out. Um, they're really cool. So like I was saying, I'm going to show you the Ratio app on my phone now just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Um, as you can see here, uh, this is what it looks, first looks like when you first open it up. You have here a schedule for the day for September 8th. That's what's today. You can see I have my morning war, um, morning watering seeding. Seeding morning one is my first schedule that I have set up. It's 5 a.m. I have actually I have seven zones that I'm doing on that one um, I do I have seven zones on my system you can see I'm doing it at 15 minutes like I said I have a seating morning two at 10 I'm doing 10 like I said seating afternoon one at one o'clock and those are 10 minutes each zone and then seating afternoon two at four and that's 15 minutes each zone so it's pretty cool here you can um, hit the but down button here and then you can see your schedule here and how many times a day they'll each come on so like thursday's four obviously friday's four um, and then if you go to the irrigation uh, tab here you can see all your zones set up you can actually put a picture of each zone if you would like um, i just know where they're at in my house my um 
in my area so zone one is the side house for me i know where that is in my yard you can do whatever you want which is pretty cool um, you can do a quick run if you want and you can select as many zones as you want and you could just say you're out there and you notice a dry spot in certain zone you can click on that zone and set it for like say 10 minutes or whatever and you can have that run for 10 minutes if you see that so it's really cool you can do a quick run uh, especially if you're spraying out liquids in your grass um, and you want to water it in um, and you don't have a schedule set up you can just do a quick run for say you know 15 minutes a zone 10 minutes a zone whatever there's also a uh, calendar section and this is what i was talking about before you have that on the home screen as well but here on the calendar section you can see you have four different times a day that each of these schedules are coming on and you can see that throughout the month um, if you want to skip one you can easily go to one of the the watering uh, cycles that you're doing one of the schedules and you can easily just hit the skip the run button um, which is really cool um, say you 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 know you don't have it set up to be sensitive with the weather you can do that i don't like personally like to do that because honestly i don't trust the weatherman like i was saying i don't trust the weatherman so if you see a rainstorm coming or you know you you're at your house and you do see some rain come down you can easily just hit that skip the run and it will skip that run and it will go to the next one on your schedule so a lot of people out there might not have in-ground sprinkler systems and what i highly recommend is you go get a melnor water timer just like this one right here so this melnor water timer right here is a four port system um, as you can see here you just hook this up to your hose bib your hose spigot and then you can help hook up obviously four hoses and you can run those out to you know manual uh, sprinklers um, but what I love the most about the Melnor water timer and as you can see here this one I've used a lot I've used this the last two seasons and I haven't had a problem with it um, what I really like is, is obviously it's four zones because you have four ports here but each of these zones have four cycles so you can easily water multiple times a day that's what i love about the melnor water timer and both their two port and their four port you can water uh, four times a day so what i highly recommend is if you're going to do a regular if you don't have an in-ground water system is get this melnor water timer system a lot of the water timers out there will only have two cycles a day um, so especially when you put down new grass seed you want to keep that soil moist as you can see behind me here this peat moss is nice and moist it's dark it's not a light color uh, we know that peat moss becomes a lighter color when it gets dry um, and so you can see here it's nice and moist and wet and so that's what's key and that's why I highly re recommend the Melnor water timers over any other water timer out there but it's a really great water timer I have a whole instruction video on how to set this up I'll leave a link below and above to that video um, it's a really great video i have a lot of views on it i go really in depth about how to set this up one of the other great things about the melnor water timer it has a manual off and on so for instance like i was saying uh like with the rat ratio app if you see a spot that's dry and you want to do a quick run you could do that uh, there's a manual off and on so you could set uh, say zone two here or zone one to say 20 minutes um, and you can just press the on button it will run for 20 minutes it will it will get that zone there that you have set up with your hose out to your manual sprinkler and it will water for 20 minutes and shut off and it will go back to your regular normal cycles so that's what's really cool about this you have a manual off and on so i have an in-ground uh, sprinkler system at my house i actually installed it myself i didn't do it the conventional way i used funny pipe to actually run the lines to where the different spots are in my yard um, but what I was doing this year and the reason why my grass looks the way it did I was moving a lot of sprinklers around because I didn't want a lot of overlap in my uh, driveway in my sidewalk areas in my yard um, so what I did I wound up switching all my heads to MP rotator heads just like this one right here so I'm going to show you the MP rotator up to the camera here hopefully you can focus a little bit but I would say it's about two inches long and it has this uh, little filter right here on the end um, and basically what they do is they go into these pop-up sprayers this is a four inch pop-up spray and then you just screw this down in the top and then what i like about them is they sit flush to the bottom of the sprinkler head right here so what's really great about them sitting flush is you can obviously mow real low and you can you're not going to hit the tops of the heads as long as they're obviously sitting flush with the bottom of your uh, dirt or your grass there 
Um, but what I really like about these MP rotators are is they constantly spray a mist over your grass. They're spraying at a lower um, PSI or a, a, they're spraying at a lower uh, pressure. So they're, you have to water essentially longer, but you're saving water actually in the long run. What I really like is that spray, how it constantly is spraying over an area as, as, as opposed to a rotator where it's just going back to one end and it's going back to the other end. So what I really like is, is it's, it's constantly doing that spray pattern over your area that you're looking for. They're very easy to adjust. If you guys would like a video uh, in the future on a more in-depth video about these MP rotators and how you adjust them, uh, comment below. I'll definitely do a video on it if anyone's interested. Um, but I just really like those uh, concept of how it's constantly spraying. So what I did this year is I took out all those old rotators and I put in these MP rotators everywhere out in my yard. So I really love the MP rotators. I just love the ability of it being constantly sprayed out in your yard as opposed to the old fashioned rotator ones. Um, now I do have an impact sprinkler in my backyard um, because I don't have irrigation in my backyard, but I want to get that, obviously that Baron Brug RPR, I want to get that soil moist for, the, for that to come in. It's just a regular old impact sprinkler made by uh, Orbit or Hunter, one of them like that. Um, just hooked up to the hose and it's actually hooked up to a Melnor water timer, the two port one. Um, and it's, I haven't had any problems with it so far and it's keeping my soil moist. I have it scheduled for the four different times of the day to come on. Um, so like again, I, I highly recommend you check out the Melnor water timers, the MP rotators. I'm not paid to say any of this. Um, I just dove, have done my own research and just love these different kind of sprinklers, uh, heads here, the MP rotators and the Melnor water timer. So a lot of times people will get questions, how do I know how much to water? You just really have to get out in your yard and you have to see how your soil is and if it's getting moist or if it's getting wet or not. Um, so you, it's really just a play around kind of situation. You just have to try different times, try different times of the day, how, different uh, lengths, and just see what you can do to keep that soil moist at those times of the day and how long each zone is going for. So once the seed does germinate, we want to taper off the watering. I'm going to probably taper off from four times a day down to two times a day, but at deeper lengths. So what I mean by that is I'm doing right now between 10 and 15 minutes a zone. I might do between 20 to 25 minutes a zone. That way that water is driving deeper into the soil canopy. So those roots have a longer way to seep down and look for that water. Because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to establish good roots in our grass seed. So we want to do deeper watering, longer watering, so the water gets down into your soil better. So those roots are driving down and looking for that water. So it's establishing a good root depth. So just to recap today, obviously watering is the most important part to a new established lawn and to plant new grass seed, you have to water. And like I showed you here today, you have to water at least four times or three times a day, depending on your area and where you live at. I showed you a couple great options today. I showed you what I use in my yard with the MP rotators here. And I showed you, if you don't have an in-ground water system, the Melnor water timer is your go-to water timer. I love these water timers. And like I said, I've used them for the past two seasons and I haven't had any problems with them. So like I said, I'll leave product links below for the MP rotators and the Melnor water timer below. I'm not paid to say any of this. I've just done my own research from YouTube, uh, reading on things and things that I've used uh, myself and these are the products that I really like to use in my yard. If you found today's content helpful make sure you smash that like button it helps out with the YouTube algorithm so other people can find my channel and if you're new and you're interested in the five steps for a successful fall overseed check out this video right here that I did and hit the subscribe button again right here and I'll see you in the next one.